In this video, I'm going to show you five different resources that are going to make you get way better and way faster at using Kittle because I know you may be looking for something specific. Maybe you haven't found it. Maybe there's like a specific feature that you're trying to utilize or a design style that you want to learn. So let me dive into these five resources to help you. So the first one is obviously the Kittle YouTube channel. Now, don't think I'm just telling you to go to the YouTube because clearly you're already on the YouTube watching a video, but I'm wondering if you knew about this feature. Now, of course, you can go over into the videos tab right here and you can scroll through. You can look through all of the different videos. These are basically just in complete order of the uploads. You can also go over to the playlist tab, which you may or may not know that the playlists are a curated list, a curated group of videos in a certain topic. For example, this one over here was about kind of holidays and Halloween. Uh, this one up here is specific to KDP products. This one right here is the whole principles of graphic design masterclass that you can watch in order. We've got graphic color, palette tips, and, and you can also see how many videos are in each playlist. But did you know that you can actually just use this search bar right here, this little magnifying glass, and actually just type in the topic that you want to learn. So for example, if I type in text and hit enter, it's going to show me the most popular videos in that category. So I've just typed in text, so now you can see 10 tips to sell more text design shirts, 10 popular text effects, uh, easily type text on a path, easily make a transparent hollow text effect. So now you can go in here, you can type whatever you want. So let's say I just want content specific to shirts, now it's going to show you all of the Kittle content that is just specific to shirts as you scroll down. And we can even do this with a style. Let's say you want to filter all of the Kittle videos through uh, a style, retro. I'm going to type in retro. There we go. Easy retro strategies, how to make a trendy retro western shirt, retro mascot shirt. So that is one resource that you can use, which is the search function in YouTube. Now, the second resource I want to talk to you about is actually the Kittle blog. And from right here on the homepage, the way that we're going to find that, which is also linked down in the description, by the way, is we're going to go to learn. And then we're going to go over to blog. And so there's a couple of different sections to the blog. You have this kind of top section here, which is asking you whether or not you're new to Kittle and it's showing you some of the most easy things to dive right into, right? Something you might be trying to get started with and you just want a brief recap of Kittle. Uh, maybe you want to learn how to do type. Maybe you need to learn how the layer system works. But as we scroll down, we're seeing a curated list of different posts that are sometimes specific to YouTube videos and YouTube style content, but also just information. So for example, if you're wanting to know what the latest Kittle editor updates are so that you can stay informed, maybe the blog had come out before a video, for example, because sometimes it's a little easier to write everything out and do some screenshots and stuff than it is to do a whole video. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and click on that and you can see the little tag there. It says news. I'm going to click on this and then it's going to show us all of the improvements, all of the new features, everything like that, that is in Kittle. And then I can even click through and try it out right from there. So what I'm going to do is go back to the blog and now you can check out some of these other categories and other tags. So for example, we've got AI graphic design. You can see this one is tagged with a tutorial. Let's go over here into the 12 principles of design. And while I do have a longer video on this, if you are more of a, uh, of, a, of a reader, you want to read at your own pace, you want to maybe have this open on a separate screen or on your phone or something and read as you're designing and you don't want to necessarily try to follow along quickly with me in a video, you can go to the blog, find what you're looking for and read it. And so you can learn about the different principles of design and also see them kind of at a glance here at a 30,000 foot view of what balance, contrast, emphasis, hierarchy, all these kinds of things, you can see what they are in written format. Now let's just go back and look a little bit more. For example, if we're trying to learn text effects or AI design, you've also got how to, uh, how to submit your own requests. Maybe you didn't know that you could submit more feature requests. We've also got things like news and inspiration for things that are happening in brands. But just like you can use the search function in YouTube, you can actually use the search function on the blog. And so what I'm going to do is type in the same thing that we did first, which was text. I'm going to go ahead and type in text. And so it's going to show me uh, searching by fonts, how to make a glitch effect, how to make a layered effect, 
how to use AI with text, <laughs> some stuff about Gen Z slang. Uh, let's go back up here. Let's type in shirt. Maybe we just want all of the blog can content that's specific to shirts. Now you can see here AI shirt challenge, uh, making a bootleg animal t-shirt, better quote ideas for your print on demand shirts, t-shirts that sell. And so you can use this search bar in the blog to find that specific type of content that you are looking for. And that's the second resource. All right, so the third resource is actually the Kittle Help Center. And so right here from the homepage, I showed you how to get to the blog, which was going to learn and then going down to blog, but you can actually go down to Help Center. And what the Help Center is gonna do is narrow in on a specific functionality of Kittle. So while YouTube videos are both instructional, inspirational in nature, showing you kind of the ins and outs, the Help Center is actually going to get a little bit more narrow down the funnel, if you will, to help you with a specific feature. So of course I could use the search function. I could also go to popular uh, thing, things that are happening popular that are trending, but I can also just go to editing a design. Now this is most of what is going to uh, help you out. So if I was trying to figure out what my download settings are or what even our download settings are, how do I download a design? I can click here over under the settings category. I can click download settings. And what that's going to do is pop up this whole preview of exactly what's happening. So you have this nice little informational GIF here and you also have the steps in how to do it. So again, if you're a little bit more of that reading paced learner you're not so much into the video thing or maybe you did but it's still a little too fast you can go here and at any point you can read the exact steps that we clarify in video so let me go back over here let's try something else so for example uh, maybe we we want to know how to add a background to our artboard well you can do that because you have the steps here to do it so you open a project open the textures library go over to the background section click on the background and then the background image is going to immediately and automatically apply and not only that what you can do is actually right click to make anything your background in Kittle. And so you can see this little GIF of it happening right here, going over to backgrounds, selecting a background and boom, it immediately applies it to that background. Let's try something else back over here in design. Maybe we're trying to figure out something uh, in text. Maybe we need to figure out how to open the glyphs panel. A lot of people are asking for uh, different glyphs, different symbols, alternates for characters. So let's go ahead and figure that out. All you have to do is go open up a text box or click into a text box. You can navigate over to the text settings. And what you're going to do is click on the A plus icon. It's going to open up the glyphs panel for you. And then you're going to be able to search in there. And so while we have videos on this, which sometimes can be buried or feel buried this design help center is here parsed out perfectly for you to go and find exactly what you want and that is the third resource all right now the fourth resource is what i am calling our creator hub or our creative project hub and i did a video on this which you can check out here where I basically go through all of the current categories that are in Kittle that we've recently added and continuing to add to. But if you're struggling to figure out how to put together a design or even figuring out what you're trying to find in Kittle, maybe the homepage with all the templates there is too much, it's too overwhelming, and perhaps you're trying to use the search bar, you're trying to use the filters, and it's still just not kind of giving you what you want because there's so many designs. Well, you can come to the Creator Project Hub, which is segmented out into different categories. So you can see here, Marketing, and then if you click on any one of these, it is going to open it up. So for example, maybe I need ads. I'm going to click on that ads and it is going to open up the ad maker page, the ad maker creative project page. And what it's going to do is give you tips and examples of how to make good ads as well as exact steps in what you're going to do to create that ad. And not only that, it's going to give you a button to go ahead and open up a project and start working on an ad. And not only that, it is also going to show you the most relevant templates on that page in that category. So for example, I've scrolled down here and now we can see add templates. And so we're browsing add templates. Maybe we wanna browse more, we wanna find more, along with even more tips for making ads, maybe for your brand. And so this is just one example. If I go back up here to the create section, now we can see 
up here either the most popular design categories that people are searching for. We can also quickly navigate to something we're looking for, or we can scroll and look through all of the different categories, social, branding, stationary, apparel, education. There are so many categories, which of course you can get to just from the homepage with the templates, but the creator hub, if you will, of projects is a little bit easier to see at a glance everything that we offer, all of the templates that are available to you that we're going to continue adding to so that you can get started with the exact one that you want. All right, and so the fifth and final resource that I want to talk to you about in growing your skills, helping you become a Kittle master faster is actually our Discord. While we have lots of different social medias and we have the Facebook group and the Facebook page, Pinterest feed, TikTok, all of these things that are giving you these kind of short tutorials, these little glimpses into different things. The Discord is where we are currently building a continuously active community, right? Because of all the different time zones, there's always going to be different people active at different points, building out different places for you to go and get extra help. So what you're seeing right here is just the introduction page. When you join our Discord, it's going to take you through a brief little onboarding a segment it's going to ask you to fill out a couple questions and then i'm going to ask you to go and introduce yourself over in the introductions page and so you can basically see everyone that's saying hello uh, where they're coming from it's a great place to meet people from all over the world and then you can see here over in the left panel we have so many different categories topics like ai tips we have people sharing their designs and asking for feedback we have POD tips and tricks, people asking for how to do something in POD or what kind of products are working or how to size something. We even have social tips and tricks strategies for people that are trying to build on social media, build a following there. We also have support. So we have a couple of support channels here. We have a review channel here for when people are asking for feedback and we'll try to hop in and give some feedback, whether it's me whether it's one of our support team, whether it's another Kittle creator. We also have a place for people to get editing support. So when there's things happening in the editor, they can't quite figure out what's happening or how to do something. That's where you can ask it in the editor support and maybe get a little bit faster than in the chat support. It just depends, again, on time of day. Then we also have licensing questions that you can go and ask. And we have a couple of other sections here like feedback so we have feature requests where people are asking uh for features and what i'm going to do from there is prompt you to obviously go and put it in our official feature board but we have one here so that everybody can look at it we also have a bug catching area where everybody can basically talk through what's happening that's wrong in Kittle. So definitely use the Discord, use the knowledge of everyone that's in there. All of our Kittle creators that are making templates for Kittle are there. They can see your comments and they will help you when they can. So I hope this video was helpful on showing you five different resources that will allow you to get better at using Kittle, whether you're a visual learner through media, whether you're a visual learner for reading or whether you are wanting to actually talk to a real person and get a step-by-step -step guide from someone over in the Discord. So let me know if this was helpful down in the comments as well as what else you would want to see if that is something you want me to do in a video, explaining something in Kittle or a topic or anything like that. Definitely comment that down below and don't forget to subscribe to Kittle so you don't miss any updates like this or new tutorials. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.